Stepping to our theme of surviving the modern world, I'd like to introduce you to our expert scientist who has been entrusted with bringing us all the latest science news and looking into the science of everyday household objects. Today, she'll be investigating the humble toaster. Please welcome Dr Emily Grossman. <laughs> Emily, hello. Lovely to see you. Emily, before we investigate the toaster, we thought every week we'd, we'd ask you a couple of sort of questions you always want to know the answer about, but never thought you'd dare ask. Blue eyes, why are they the most common colour? So a headline is actually out that scientists have now revealed that although Britons all used to have brown eyes, the most common eye colour is now blue. Why? Well, they think what it might be is that uh, rare colours, such as blue, as well as being quite sparkly, um, that's what makes them more attractive. And because they're more attractive, people may be moving towards them as mates and more likely to have mates and therefore reproduce. This is a rather posh way <laughs> of saying if you've got blue eyes, you'd probably get it rather more than... <laughs> <laughs> Peacock's tail. A peacock's yeah. tail has no evolutionary advantage, but just helps him get lady peacocks. But as a result of blue eyes mating with blue eyes frequently, we get more blue eyes than brown eyes. Exactly. The more a trait um, mates and reproduces and has children, and the more that trait is passed on if it's in your genes, which eye colour is. But it's okay if you have brown eyes, because now that brown eyes are more rare, it's mm. actually more likely that they're going to then become more attractive, because they're a rarity. Just and so that will increase the game. Just I was getting excited about <laughs> having blue eyes, it's now brown that you want. It's not <laughs> <laughs> me, that, it, really. Now, what's all this also about being able to forget bad memories? Yes, so scientists um, in America have been doing studies on mice, and they find that if they give them a gas called xenon, which is just an inert noble gas that we actually use in anaesthetics, it helps them to erase bad memories. Well, anaesthetics. <laughs> To help you to erase any memory <laughs> at all, you know. You know. Wait. Well, they're hoping they might be able to use it with uh, uh, people with uh, post traumatic stress disorder. Oh, right, so it's a really useful thing. They're that... hoping that it will help in humans and they'll be able to use it to erase the fearful connotation uh, associations mm. with bad experiences in the past. So it is a serious use, it's not just enabling you to forget <laughs> dreadful guests you had on this show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we'll be able to use it if we just sort of fall over and sprain our ankle. It probably worked, but I don't think it's going to be available what for that. A shame. <laughs>